guys so in today's class we're going to see the first program the multiplication of two numbers so how to execute that so in previous video i have shown how to install the key software and the description of the link has been given on my youtube channel you guys click it on that link and you can download the software and you can install in your laptops or your desktop so now we're going to start with my first program so first before going to that click it on my project click it on new vision project and here you need to create one folder so here i have created a folder name called lab program of mc i'm going to open that so in that again i have created in first program i'm going to create one file name file name called multiply and I'm going to save that. Okay. So before saying it, we're going to ask where we need to do. So in that, I will go for NXP. In that NXP, I'm going to search for LPC 2148. LPC 2148. So click on that LPC 2148 and save okay. If it is of C program, we need to press S. As it is of assembly uh, assembly program, I'm going to click it on. No. Okay. So now go to file, click it on new. As I have already typed my program, I'm going to paste, paste my program. So you guys need to type that and you need to execute that. Okay. So I have typed my program and I'm going to save my program. So these lines are comment lines i'm going to show you so i'm going to save by the name multiply.asm okay i'm going to save it so these lines are the comment lines so the semicolon shows that these lines are comment lines so you guys can start with the line number eight okay so after that what i'm going to do I'm going to debug my program. I'm going to save my program. After saving, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my target. So I will going to right click on that target and I'm going to give an option for target, target one. So there I'm going to go for an output. I'm going to check create X file and I'm going to a linker. On that linker, I'm going to check my box make RW section position independent and I'm going to say okay. Okay. I said okay then. So after that, what I need to do, I need to add file to the source group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, right click on that and I'm going to add files to the source group one. So which file I need to add? I need to add the multiply file. So go to all files and it's going to show mul or multiply. So multiplication. I have saved by the name multiplication, multiplication. I'm going to add that. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to add that multiply file. Okay, okay. So after doing that, I need to check for an error. So I'm going to click it on translate or I'm going to press control H7. So if I click it on translate here, it will going to show the number of errors and warnings as my program contains zero errors and zero warnings. I will going to build my project by pressing F7. So here I'm going to build my project It's of zero errors and zero warnings. If, it, if you doesn't want to click here, you can go to project and you can click it on build target. Either way you can do it. So you can build, you can click it on build target. Either way, it's fine. So it's going to show zero errors and zero warnings. So after doing that, what I need to do, I need to debug my, debug my program. I'm going to debug by pressing control F5. So I'm going to click on control F5. And my program will going to start executing. So now I'm going to explain the tracing of this program. So first a first line of the program is area multiply code read only. So this, as you guys, as I've explained in my theory class, it's of it will be consisting of two memories. One is data memory and another one is program memory. So area will going to decide in which memory 
it needs to be get stored. So every program will be having the start. Every program will be having the start. So here the program will every program is going to start with the start. So now move the first by pressing F11, we guys can we can trace the program. So here Z0064 is the immediate address, immediate value, which will be stored in my R1. So this 64, if we convert into an hexadecimal term, the 64, it will going to be a 40. 64 divided by uh, 16, 64 is a 64, and the remainder is zero. And it will going to convert the 64 into an hexadecimal term. So the value of 64 in hexadecimal will be 40. So now the second value is 32. So 32, if we convert this 32 value, it will be 20, 2, 0. So divide 32 by 16. 16 twos are 32 and the remainder will be zero and it will be of 20 if we convert into hexadecimal term. So this 64 will be stored in this R1 and this 32 will be stored in this R2. After converting 32, it will going to yield the result 20. So the after pressing F11, it will going to give the answer as 800. So if R1 and R2, the value of R1 that is 40 in hexadecimal term, R2 in uh, 20 in hexadecimal term. If you multiply these two numbers, we're going to get to 800 in hexadecimal term. It will be stored in R3 register. So this is the answer. And later, the program is going to end. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in next class or you guys can comment it below. Thank you. Thank you guys. I hope you guys have understood. Thank you guys.